Fight SMA is a nonprofit research foundation that its primary goal is to fund research that is aimed at curing spinal muscular atrophy. So spinal muscular atrophy is, is what we call a motor neuron disease. Motor neurons are the type of nerve cell that connects the spinal cord to the muscle. And without motor neurons, muscles cannot be activated and they become very, very weak. And what you'll see typically is that patients lose the ability to move those large muscle groups, not because necessarily that they've lost the muscle, that they've lost that connection. Fight SMA uh, sort of uh, uh, occupies a very important niche in the uh, SMA research environment or landscape. It's been really instrumental at identifying those developing areas which have the greatest promise. It's a unique organization. You know, I mean, they've, they've been doing this for 20 years. They've been part of or funded pieces of, uh, you know, almost every SMA research program that, that has promise today. Fight SMA is important because it really helps get the word out about a relatively rare disease. It's, it's odd that it is, in fact, a rare disease, but it is the second most common autosomal recessive disease, and it's the leading genetic killer of children worldwide. I talk to colleagues who work in other rare disease areas, and their ability to get the required funds to do the research is so limited because there aren't organizations like Fight SMA funding this kind of research. Twenty-two years ago, when Fight SMA started, it was not exactly the best of times for SMA research. As things have evolved, it's really patient advocacy groups, Fight SMA, have really pushed to get SMA to the forefront. Fight SMA has been a leader on Capitol Hill for the last 20 years. Um, they've, they've been leading the charge uh, for the SMA community and they've done an incredible job. Currently there's a piece of legislation and we're excited about where it is today. Uh, it wouldn't be where it is today without Fight SMA and we're, we're hoping that it's going to pass in the near future. I think that the field is making great progress and that is all to the credit of the people who get involved, the people who are out there working so hard raising the money that makes the research possible. And there are people who have lost children or family members to SMA and, and they're deeply impacted and it's incredible how many of them continue to be involved in you know, raising awareness and raising funding and doing fundraisers. It is asking a lot, but without doing these studies that require so much of patients and their families, we won't get answers. We've got um, what look like very promising therapies. Uh, we've got a, a increased, uh, improved understanding of how SMA happens. And uh, we're going to be able to see over the next three to five years, effective therapies generally spread throughout the SMA population. I am not aware of another disease in which there is so much hope that we can have a huge impact in terms of efficacy for patients. I mean, what greater thing to fight for than that, right? <laughs>